welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a top five nude lipstick collection i have done this video in the past and that was a hit you guys seem to love that video so i thought why not give you all an update which liquid lipsticks or which nude lipsticks i am loving currently and let me tell you guys all the lipsticks are so very affordable such good quality only one lipstick is a little bit drying but other than that all the other lipsticks are very very comfortable to wear and in this season i i just somehow gravitated more towards the lipsticks which are more comfortable than which are very drying so i'm very very glad about that so in case you want to know what my top five new lipsticks are please keep watching so the first one that i want to show you guys is from Nika, this is the Nika Matte Delicious Lip Crayon in the shade Next Level Nude. Oh my god, this lipstick. This has been my go-to lipstick this entire season. It is such a beautiful pinky brownie nude. It's such a perfect shade. I'm just gonna swatch it right here. Let me tell you, this lipstick is so comfortable to wear on your lips. It does not dry your lips at all. This lipstick lasts for around, you can say, five to six hours, not more than that. You have to reapply this lipstick once you eat or, you know, drink or something because it tends to transfer. It is not a transfer-proof lipstick at all. But the shade and the formula, it is matte. Let me tell you that it is not a creamy matte. It is not a velvet matte it is a straight up matte lipstick and it is not drying at all and you get this for 650 rupees so totally worth every penny is from Maybelline these are the creamy matte lipsticks and this is in the shade nude nuance 657 again this lipstick oh my god these lipsticks are so comfortable now let me tell you these lipsticks are not completely matte they are a little bit creamy but more on the matte side so let me show you guys the color oh my god this color this color is such a beautiful shade this is like a perfect mix of brown and pink again it's gonna be a mix of brown and pink but this is more on the mauveier side and this color is like everything to me so this is the shade nude nuance can you see how beautiful this color is it's more on the darker nude side and it's such a pretty color it's so flattering and it's gonna look good on so many different indian skin tones i am sure of that and on top of that they are very creamy when you apply it once but they are not that creamy that they'll slip and slide they are the perfect formula oh my god this color is like totally up my alley like can you see how beautiful the shade is so yeah this is my second favorite nude lipstick So the next one is from the brand colors Miss Claire. If you guys must be knowing, I love Miss Claire soft matte lip creams, and this one is a newer shade. This is in the number fifty nine. Again, this is a nude. This is somewhat closer to the shade zero two from Miss Claire, but just a hint darker than that. And this shade is also very very beautiful. Let me show it to you guys. I'm wearing this lipstick in my intro that I just did. For this video again this is such a beautiful color and miss claire soft matte lip creams are very very comfortable to wear again this is a very lighter pinker nude and it's like a similar shade to the next level nude from nyga but a little bit lighter so this shade in particular is gonna suit my skin tone and lighter than me i do not think that this shade is gonna work out for skin tones which are a little darker than me more on the darker side so 
this one is in the number 59 as i told you all and this lipsticks are so very inexpensive 150 rupees that's it and they are so comfortable to wear again these last on your lips for around three to four hours you have to reapply these lipstick because they rub off very easily once you eat or drink or something of that sort so you need to reapply i do not have a problem even if you layer this lipstick up it is not gonna crack it's not gonna chip off they are very very comfortable and they are like a very moosy consistency so once you apply it they are of a moosy consistency and they dry completely matte lipstick is again from the brand Maybelline again this is the creamy matte finish lipstick this is in the shade touch of spice 660 this lipstick shade is very very different than the ones which I showed you all right now this is more like a darker spicy more your kind of a nude I hope you all get the gist of what I'm trying to say let me show you all the swatch so this is what that color looks like now it is very very similar to the one that i showed you all from maybe in the nude nuance one but the nude nuance is more on the brownie nude side and this is more on the mauve nude side i hope you all are getting what i'm trying to say again this is on the darker nude side and darker skin tones this shade is gonna be a perfect nude shade for you So yeah, this is my fourth top nude lipstick. So the last one, which is my favorite, is from the brand called as Arzia. This is the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Skin case now this shade in particular is a little difficult to find like these lipsticks are a little difficult to find but i will try and link it down in the bottom bar in the description box below for you guys if i find it online let me tell you a little bit about this lipstick this lipstick is not as comfortable as the rest of them this is a little bit more on the drying side so this lipstick in particular you have to apply a lip balm before going with this lipstick because it is pretty dry and on top of that the wear that you get is around four hours but once you eat it kind of like goes away from the middle and you cannot reapply on top of the lipstick that you're already wearing you have to remove your entire lipstick and then apply this one otherwise it's just gonna end up looking very uh, cracky so that is the only problem with this lipstick otherwise the reason i like this lipstick is because of the shade i'm going to show you all the shade right now so this is the shade of that lipstick oh my god the shade in particular is such a beautiful color i have been using this lipstick in many of my videos recently and you guys have been asking me continuously what lipstick i'm wearing but i'm very 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 disappointed that you do not get this lipstick very easily in India you have to go through a lot of hassle but I will try and link it down in the description box below for you guys so that you all can find this one again it is very very affordable I think I got this for around 250 mm, I cannot talk 250 rupees so I'm just gonna wear it and show you all the exact shade lipstick has a faint smell of paint which is kind of annoying but it does go away after like applying it and sitting for like 15 minutes after 15 minutes it just goes away so that's not a problem but when you apply it you are definitely gonna get that smell so if you keep layering this lipstick up it kind of becomes patchy so you have to make sure that one you know one swatch itself 
your lipstick should be applied perfectly otherwise it's gonna crack so that is the only problem otherwise the only reason I like this lipstick is the shade as you can see it's such a beautiful shade I do not have any lipstick of this shade that is the reason I use that if you all know any lipstick which is similar to this one please let me know because it's not as comfortable as I would like it to be So guys, those were all my top 5 nude lipsticks. Let me tell you, I wear these pretty much non-stop. I go back and forth between all the 5 of them. I absolutely love all the 5. They are so comfortable to wear. Except for the uh, the liquid lipstick that I showed you all. The uh, Arzia, I suppose that's how it's pronounced. That is a little bit drying. So I don't wear that that often. But when I want that particular shade on a makeup look, I just grab that one. Because that shade is so very pretty so any which ways let me know in the comment box below which one was your favorite and also let me know what type of videos you all would like to see in the future so that i can do it for y'all so yeah that's it for this video and i'll see y'all in my next one bye